Hello everyone, just doing a quick video to show you how to put a map switch on a CRF450L. Please note I am in Australia, so our bike was the 25 horsepower version. However, uh, in Australia a power-up kit is offered, which is just the American ECU and intake pipe. So it's still relevant for pretty much most of the world, or anyone that has the higher horsepower version of the CRF450L. First thing to uh, tell you is that this bike has a gear position switch which is hooked to the ECU. It has four different maps in it and it more or less has a different map for whichever gear you select. So first or third use the most aggressive map or what feels to be the most aggressive map. Then fourth is its own map, fifth is its own map, then sixth is its own map. Uh, 6 is also the rev limit, uh, the rev limit is lowered from 10,000 RPM to 9,000 RPM but uh, what we're really uh, looking to achieve here is to change the ignition curve of the bike and give it more fuel for technical riding which I do a lot of. So how to do it, all you need to do is intercept the wire that goes down to the gear selector switch. It has a black and a green wire in it. Sold, don't break the wire. Uh, don't break the black wire. Just solder onto it and insulate it. Then run a wire up to a handlebar switch. Then run the other wire back to a, a suitable earth. Essentially, uh, how it works is with it uh, disconnected, it just works as it normally would. So you've got all four maps. When you turn it on, it, the bike thinks that it's in sixth gear all the time. So this map is obviously intended for high load situations. So when you're climbing a mountain or putting around or just don't want the snap on throttle response from this bike, that will help. It uh, definitely helps maintain traction on muddy ground, I can assure you of that. Now everyone will probably have a different opinion of how it behaves when the, uh, when you're using six gear map only. Um, try it. It is useful. It's probably not so useful if you only ride on the road. Um, other thing I can tell you is that if you want to disable the speed limit or rev limit for this bike, uh, you just need to solder in one 20 ohm resistor into the wire. So it effectively thinks that it's in fifth gear all the time. That's up to you. Anyway, thought I'd show up with you. Have a good day. Cheers.